to need assistance from the residents and we'll have the mayor uh, provide some of his comments on uh, what we would like for our residents to do in order to remain safe. Good morning, everyone. This is a difficult time for all of us here at the county, for our residents, for our county employees. We need everybody to be ready. We need people to go to work today to prepare themselves, get their water, get gas, get their supplies in, have a plan, and take care of their families. That is the biggest thing that we can do today because this is the last Congress that we are gonna have um, once the winds start to pick up. So please, everyone, we urge you to take the precautions that you need to take. And if you need help or if you have questions, please contact the Emergency Operations Center. The number is 712-6400. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Palm Beach County remains under a hurricane warning. All residents and visitors should be aware of the potential impact from this powerful storm. Please visit www.pbcgov.com for the latest advisories and to review your checklist and emergency plans. Under a hurricane warning, hurricane conditions are expected in our area within 24 to 36 hours. At this time, you and your family should be in the process of completing protective action and deciding the safest location. Strongly recommending evacuations for Zone B, which includes the Barrier Islands, uh, Zone A, which includes mobile home residents, as well as areas in homes where people feel the integrity of their home uh, is compromised. We strongly recommend that you uh, please move to the shelters. So the police began preparing for evacuation, securing your home as much as possible. Uh, our evacuation shelters will be open uh, starting at four o'clock today for our general uh, shelters, for our special needs, as well as our pet shelters. They will open at two o'clock. This information can be found on Palm Beach County's website. Uh, we've got a few other uh, items that we would like to highlight for you, and Bill Johnson from our office will provide that highlight. Thank you very much, Virginia. As Virginia said, that we are we will be getting our evacuation this afternoon. If you we're evacuating both zones A and zones B. If you are unsure as to whether or not you reside in an evacuation zone, you can either download our free mobile app, PBC DART, or go to our website or contact our emergency information center at 712-6400. And we, you will be able to find out whether or not you reside in an evacuation zone. If you do live in one of our evacuation zones or zone A and zone B, then, as Virginia in, in said, please either evacuate to a shelter or uh, find refuge in a friend's home or a family member's home or co-worker's home inland. And again, please remember to evacuate miles, not hundreds of miles. Please try to stay within Palm Beach County uh, because the, the, we don't want to clog up all the roads because other, other counties of our neighboring counties are also going to be evacuating as well. Again, as Ben Perdinia mentioned, we are activated to a full activation here at the Emergency Operations Center in order to, res to mobilize all of our resources in order to make sure that we are responding to this, um, this hurricane. We have eight shelters that we will be opening, general population shelters that will be opening at four o'clock this afternoon, plus our special needs shelter, um, as well as our pet friendly shelter the, the pet-friendly shelter located at the West Point and Recreation Center. Um, it will be opening at two o'clock this afternoon. And I believe that's about all that you have, we have the information I'd like to provide right now. If you have any questions or need any further information regarding that, where the shelters are located, again, you can contact, uh, you can go to our website at readypbc.com or again, uh, our, our mobile app, PBCDART, or our our EIC, which is again 712-6400. And with that, I'd like to introduce Senator Bill Nelson. 
I've been in a lot of EOCs and I've been through a lot of hurricanes and I want to compliment Palm Beach County uh, for being as organized and as prepared as you are. I have spoken to the head of FEMA, Craig Fugate. They are ready. They have supplies pre-positioned throughout Florida. Uh, depending on the aftermath of the storm, where the need is, things like water, things like food, things like tarpaulins to stop the damage when part of the roof is blown off. Remember, as you look at the potential track, the latest one being uh, from 11 o'clock, there is a cone of uncertainty. And if the hurricane took the left line of the cone of uncertainty, it would be a direct hit on Palm Beach County. So at this point, you cannot assume anything. It underscores what the directors and the commissioners have said to you. If there is an evacuation order, you need to evacuate. Uh, what uh, we have, the likelihood is, uh, since the forecasts are quite accurate, and by the way, the surprise in 2004 of Hurricane Charlie, it suddenly took a right hook onto Punta Gorda. Our measurements are a lot more precise now because of our overhead assets, not only what we have up in space, but also what flies in. We have an unmanned aerial vehicle that is now dropped out of the four motor uh, Air Force or NOAA airplane that goes into the hurricane. And that UAV flies around in the inner uh, highest winds of the hurricane. And those additional measurements help us so much more at the National Hurricane Center in the accuracy of our forecast. If it is correct that it continues as it is, it is going to churn up a lot of the coastline of the state of Florida from here north. And that is particularly important when people along the coast get the evacuation order, specifically from the barrier islands, they need to heed that evacuation order. Because if they are on the leading edge of those counterclockwise winds, coming in directly from the ocean, you're talking about a substantial storm surge. Again, I compliment you all for what you've done. Uh, I am now going on up the coast at each of the EOCs in our counties and working my way north. Thank you for what you've done. Just to clarify, are they mandatory evacuation orders or are they evacuations right now for the Barrier Islands and mobile homes or is it voluntary? At this point in time, we're just strongly recommending we're not making mandatory evacuations, but again, because of the intensity of the storm, uh, we are truly strongly recommending people evacuate. Any plans to open any additional shelters other than the ones already named? Not at this time. <coughs> Will you be giving an update uh, in the next 24 hours or is this the last media briefing? We, at this time, I don't have any more um, press conference scheduled, but uh, I'll be working with our, our media folks and, and definitely clearly sending out any updates as, as they go along. Can you also expand on your comments? You were mentioning people to seek shelter as opposed to driving far distances. Uh, can you expand a little bit more on that? It's, it's been our philosophy here at Palm Beach County Emergency Management because of the the road infrastructure north of us, again, it's, you know, the, the two major highways, 95 and the Turnpike, are seven lanes in Miami and eight lanes wide in Miami, but just north of Jupiter, they both narrow to two lanes. So it's important that to, that, that, that infrastructure cannot handle seven million people. So the idea is, is that all four counties have taken the position, with the exception of Monroe, Monroe has to evacuate. The counties have taken the, the position that we need to evacuate inland and within within the county and not, you know, go to Georgia or Orlando. Uh, we run from uh, the, 
the surge, we hide from the wind. So we are evacuating people because of surge, not because of the wind. So again, evacuate, with, with, stay within the county, find uh, family members, coworkers, uh, and friends uh, within the county. The, the one caveat is, is we're, we're suggesting that those folks that are in the B zone, that are in the high rise uh, uh, communities, because every uh, 20, you know, every, the higher you go up, you're, you're adding, um, you know, higher wind speeds, you know, the higher up you are in, in a condo. Uh, so the closer you are to this, the, the coast, so, so those individuals, I mean, they, they, we encourage them to evacuate as well. Can you give any glimpse what these conference calls entail? I know they involve a number of different folks from different counties, including Tallahassee as well. Uh, what are you guys discussing on these phone calls? What kind of information and, and detail about resources? Well, bottom line is we're, we're working, we're discussing the meteorological aspects of the storm um, with the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service, and then we talk about potential impacts, particularly locally, and then um, each uh, county director talks about what their protective actions are. And that way we're sharing and collaborating to make sure that we're um, if we are understanding what everybody else is doing, so that we're kind of either on the same page, or we're knowing what to expect from what other counties and what other agencies are doing. Any other questions? Can you speak about the areas around the lakes where you did special precautions for the travelers and the um, Right now, we're again we've we've got two counties, or we have, we have two uh, shelters open around the lake, and um, we're working with. Uh, you know, the transportation with Paul Tran to help with the transportation of uh, the communities around the lake as well to assist them to be able to get to the shelters as well. We have um, two individuals here from the uh, Army Corps of Engineers that we're working with. Um, they're seated here in the EOC, so we're staying on top of that, that situation as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.